station to the fast food joint to the movie theater. How often do you think you grab an ice cold drink at a soda dispenser? Well, this got us wondering about the nozzles, especially now that the newer dispensers are showing up in more places. Tonight, our investigative reporter, Jace Larson, giving you a closer look at what else you might find besides your soda the next time you fill up your cup. Seven up. Soda. <laughs> Pop. Mountain Dew gives you that. We all suffer from that desire to have a nice cold beverage every once in a while. Fizzy. Amber Rain's. Carbonated. Is a soda lover. Feels good going down. She drinks it a lot. From sun up to sundown. We've all enjoyed having a refreshing beverage, but if you ever stop to think what might be lurking underneath here, we decided to swab several locations soda dispensers. We chose a movie theater, some dining locations, a gas station, even a hospital cafeteria to see just how dirty or clean some soda fountains are. We sent our swabs to a food safety lab. So it is concerning that that particular species was found to be prevalent. Dr. Helene Van Eck looked over our results. She's a pretty smart microbiologist at Metropolitan State University of Denver. Some of our levels of bacteria concerned her. 45 uh, 100,000 CFUs is, is a lot. Here is what we found. Our test at a gas station seemed to be the most clear. Just a dash of mold, but nothing too concerning. Things started getting a little bit worse, though, from there. The movie theater had an abnormally high number of bacteria and some pretty high levels of mold. The fast casual restaurant had some signs of E. coli and the highest count in our tests of total chloroform bacteria. The fast food restaurant we went to had some concerns. While the overall number of bacteria wasn't very high, they had signs of E. coli, mold, and yeast. Things like mold and yeast in high levels can be concerning, but they're not nearly as worrisome as having E. coli present. That's tied to fecal matter and staph, which can be responsible for making people really sick. While these problems were present, we don't know of any cases of someone getting sick from the locations we tested. 3,000 CFUs is is a lot, especially when you're comparing it to the other samples. The hospital we tested had a pretty typical number of bacteria, but the thing that got Dr. Van Eck most worried was the presence of Staphylococcus. Hospitals already have trouble with this type of bacteria. We have to make sure that there isn't microbes being dispensed into our beverages, because especially that sugary beverage would be a delicious sugar fest for microbes. So they'll be growing in that soda as it's in your cup. Ultimately, bacteria is all around us. We simply can't avoid it. Amber says it gives her cause for pause, but she says she loves soda too much. Yeah, I think I'll probably still drink a fountain soda. <laughs> I'm Jace Larson reporting. <laughs> I'm sorry, she was a character. All right, moving